There we go. Your vegetables get trying to figure out how I can okay <laughs> plant daddy Oof. I was actually wanting to name myself plant daddy but I couldn't because it was already taken which sucks I have no spot to put the stupid iPad okay here I'll put it on top of the shit bucket right here okay Hi, buddy. Okay. All right. Get in the water. Get in. Plant patty. I'm just soaking up the sphagnum moss right now. Now let's do the soup. Aw, thanks, I appreciate you, bud. Don't call me Plant Daddy. I'm just letting the sphagnum moss soak, that way uh, when I put fly traps in it, it wouldn't fully expand. Well, it's usually good if they do expand, but when it comes to dinky little plants like little fly traps, it's not very good. Okay, so. Pack it in. Shit. Alright, so I'm doing an experiment this year. I'm going to be growing fly traps in sphagnum moss instead of peat and perlite. So, uh, we'll see how this goes. I got my B52. Uh, I have a. It really divided to a bunch of smaller plants. So, they're all gonna be in the same pots, obviously. So I'll just just leave that like that. And then but these these guys are still dormant, so they look like the budge. But let's see. Ew. Uh, would you ever see cards plants? Uh, would you think panties or fly traps? Uh, I would love to. Will it happen? Probably not. Um, but I'd love to see, the, especially in the panties like Raja or Edward Sienna in the wild, that would be very nice. Fly traps, I, it's possible. Fun fact, my sister and, well, her ex-boyfriend now, but, uh, they actually did go to North Carolina, um, so, and they are actually going to look for wild fly traps for me, um, and they just couldn't find any. They couldn't find any. They're, they're critically endangered in the wild. Using worms to compost, honestly. Yeah, that's what I can do. Point this year. That is cool. Um, we actually did use night crawlers, like uh, worms that, like, we, we literally got them at Walmart. You know, like worms you, that you get for fishing and stuff like that. We, Me and my mom, this was years ago, we actually bought that for our compost, but it, it works. You need to take care of the worms, though. You need to feed them. Uh, you need to put, like, everything you possibly can in the compost constantly. Um, but they did a great job. Uh, oh shoot, okay. Get my traps to thrive. Alright. Here in Texas. They should do fine in Texas. I mean, even if it's super hot outside, um, you can, they, they'll thrive. They'll be fine in Texas. They naturally grow in North Carolina. And where they live, they get tons and tons of sunlight, and it does get pretty hot where they live. 
Yeah, that is the, that is the bad part about Nepenthes. You'd have to go to Asia. And I don't know about you, I live on like the polar opposite side of the planet for that. So, yeah, no, I can't do that. I don't know, I'm just randomly putting these fly traps in here like that, but I feel like that's a good way of uh, doing it. Then I'll just take, grab them by the base and just kind of shove them in there. So that's kind of my routine. Is to take a bunch of sphagnum moss, wrap around their their base, and just find an empty spot, and then just set it in there. Is that all the plants? Looks like it. Some moss was actually in there, so while I'm at it, um, I can set the moss right here. And why not? I love when the moss grows in pots. It just looks very, very nice. Okay. Alright. Wanna feed myself to it for a giant fly trap? Uh, Wanna feed myself to a giant fly trap for science? Nope. Nope. Screw science. I don't care. I'm all for God. No, I'm not. I'm kidding. <laughs> Alright. Uh... Do you know Crown Pays but Botany doesn't? I've I've heard of this guy. I have heard of him. I've seen some of his videos. Um he seems he seems like a funny dude. Uh didn't he like rescue like a baby coyote or something like that? I don't remember. He 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 did something like that. Uh some wild blood awards here. Oh that's cool. Um We all got red with regular from from pets and other things. I can't wait. Ooh. Mostly in Indonesia and Borneo and other areas. Of yeah. What do you think is a good time to try again with fly traps? And where is a good place to purchase healthier ones? Uh, Alright. So, a good time to start is around this time, actually, because the plants have just started coming out of dormancy. So, you can pretty much watch it from early dormancy to, um, to full growth. And not to mention, when they're dormant, they don't have a lot of stress, which is why I'm repotting them right now. They don't have a lot of stress when it comes to repotting or um, transportation or anything like that. So now is a good time to get it. And a uh, place that I recommend, if you want to get them, uh, go to like hobbyist eBay sellers. They usually do very, very well. Another thing is Flytrap King. I highly recommend Flytrap King. His plants are cheap and they are very good quality. Um, it's a small, it's a small business, but they are fantastic. So here's my pot of B52. It's definitely a bit of a, a huge upgrade compared to the pot that they used to be in. And these guys should grow very, very well in here. All right, my next victim is going to be my Saracenian Miner that for some reason I still haven't cut back yet. All right, let me check. I think that's found here in the Netherlands is Sundew. Huh. I mean, I don't like giving off my location, but where I live, commerce plants don't grow naturally in my state. Um, I live in the U.S. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna say what state I live in because that's just too much information. I just don't like giving off that kind of stuff. But we have this miner. Uh, I love Saracen miner, so I need to cut back first. Get out my skizzers. And the iPad's covering the shit bucket. Damn it! All right. It's a really crappy spot for an iPad. Okay. Well, they may not grow naturally in Texas, but you can grow them in Texas. Just because you can't plant, place them in the ground doesn't mean that you can't grow them. Where I live, I can't put these in the ground. But you can still totally grow them, especially things like fly traps and Saracenia. If you, if you can give them full sun, and I really do mean full sun, like they need a lot of sunlight. Um, oh, I just missed, I missed, I missed 
Two of them. Yeah, I missed two of these. Uh oh. Shoot. Where'd they go? Here they are. Let me find some empty spots. I can just throw these in. Uh, here's one here. And I know there's one. What's over here? There you go. Cool. All right. That's so good. Making sure that. Yeah, we're done. It's not warm enough. It's okay. Let's see. Let's see. The four charge still needs any depth. That's cool. Okay, so. All right, now let's get to Saracenium Minor. So this is actually going to go in a sphagnum heat and perlite mix. All right, uh, I can do it over this tray. It's probably gonna be a real stupid idea, but you know what, it is what it is. And it filled in the pot reasonably well. Now, I mean, yeah, it's probably very dry there, but um, if you want to, you can keep a small collection and uh, put them underneath the tray uh, and put some water underneath it. And yes, even though these plants aren't the biggest fan of tap water, you can 100% buy distilled water. It's about a dollar a gallon. So you could probably, I don't know, not everyone's made of money, including myself. I'm poor. But um, it's a dollar a gallon. Uh, you probably only need to do that once every, like refill, I'd say like every week or so. And whenever it does rain, even if it's very dry, when it does rain, that can help refill it. Or heck, you can even collect rainwater. Have you ever wanted to try growing different kinds of species of cottage plants? Like Darlingtonia. I actually almost bought a Darlingtonia. I wanted, I still want one badly, but I just don't think I can do it. They're very difficult to grow. Um, they, they have very, uh, they like to keep their roots nice and cool, and I don't think I can provide that. Unless I could put it like in ice like ice cubes every day. And I mean like multiple times a day. I don't think I'd do that. My best bet is to put them in a white pot like this. That way the light can reflect off of it. But the thing about it is you gotta keep the roots cool. And especially where I live, the summers get super dry and hot. So I most likely probably I probably wouldn't be able to do it. Have a zero water picture. That works very well. <laughs> oh, uh, helium flora. I mean, they're not bad plants. I've just never really been interested in those. This is gonna be the new pot for it. Doesn't seem like a big upgrade, but it's a it's a pretty decent size upgrade. Uh, it doesn't really need that. It doesn't really need whatever bigger pot. Just big enough for it to. Um, Really just hold it. Uh, it's only going to be in this pot for probably a couple more years. Alright, I'll set it back there. I mean, helium fours are, or helium fours, I like to call them helium fours because I think it's uh, it just sounds cooler. But I know. We're technically pronounced helium four or helium four, however, people pronounce them differently, okay? Um, they are nice, they are pretty, especially things like, uh, I like heterodoxa, um, and I like, I like parva, but I don't know, I've never really found one that I, I've genuinely, um, I was interested in, and they're also very, very expensive. Uh, I'm a cheapskate, and especially whenever I work minimum wage, it's not very, and that's actually one of the main reasons why I'm not been buying a lot of plants. I've finally started adulting the past year, and I've been, I literally work minimum wage. It's not fun, it's not pretty, and I work a lot. Um, so, sucks, but I'm hope, hopefully I can get a, a new job soon now that I got my uh, degree. I finally graduated college. So if I can get a better job that pays better and I can finally move out of my parents' house. Right. 
Let's see. Huge pile of capes in front of the one, no two is in the ring pot. Well, they know it's there, but those buggers are expensive. Thank you for the congrats, dude. I appreciate it. All right, so there we go. Seriously, a miner has been repotted. I know it sticks up a lot, but trust me, these plants can hold. Um, they can support themselves very, very, very well. Um, and also, it keeps their rhizomes exposed. You want their rhizomes to be exposed as much as possible. That way, the pitchers can um, expand as much as possible, and they don't get buried in the soil. But uh, I'm pretty sure the moss will kind of like make like a nice mountain, like a little mound. So yeah, there's miner. Let's do the porty eye. Y'all remember this guy? I know a lot of sundews like to stick it, like to stay in here. So I'm mainly just gonna do what I do with the miner, just remove the bottom half. See, to see what's cooking here. Okay. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's one's rotten. Oof. That's been it's been in the spot for two and a half, three years maybe. I'm just emptying out the soil bits in the in the shit bucket. Actually, um, clean my hands with, I guess not. Actually, those roots are quite deep. Uh, I'm gonna empty that out a bit more. That's better. Okay. Some news that live in this pot, or at least that lived in the pot of, of uh, the cordii. I'm not sure how many are gonna make it, uh, especially after I renovate the bog gardens. Wink, wink. Um, the bog gardens do look a lot better though. I wish I had some music playing, but I don't have my TV in here. Oh, I just threw weed in the spec. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh. Where did it go? Oh, found it. Alright. Let's see. What else do we have here? Let's do my Catesby eye. Got the big old weed in there. Oh, dang it. Oh. Bunch of weed started growing in here. Oh, I've been called that too. Um, don't worry about that. Don't listen to them. They don't know what they're talking about. And, and as cringy and cliche as it sounds, man, dude, just do what you want. Don't worry about what other people think. Man, I've literally been called a freak because I grow these plants. And it bothered me for the longest time. Not anymore. Okay, literally, fuck, like, pardon, pardon my French, but fuck them. Like, don't even be bothered by it. 
They're not worth your time. They're not worth your energy. They don't know what they're talking about. They just need a reason to be upset at someone or something. And I bet she was one of those frat girls, which you honestly don't really want those anyway. I want to keep them, but I can't. Sweet Anne, there's no way I can feed you. Yeah. I don't know if you really want to feed me. Yeah. Exactly. But yeah, like what I said, I mean, hell, I collect Bakugan, which is basically a kid's toy, and Especially people, because I have a TikTok and I make Bakugan videos. Um, and, I'm, and I'm actually a lot more active on TikTok. But people tend to tell me that, hey, you're an adult. I don't know why you're collecting kids' toys. Even my mom and my nana and family members think it's weird that I do it. And my real answer to that is, I don't care. I just don't care. So, it's because... To them, when you're an adult, you should only do adult things because that's what I'm pretty sure that's how they were taught. But in reality, for me, just choose joy in your life. Who cares? Like, if something makes you happy, just do it. And, like, and I mean, people, I mean, yeah, people think I'm weird for growing plants. Do I care? No. It, I really did care before when I was in high school. But now that I'm graduating college, and this is for people who are still in high school, okay? But people who do shit like that, don't listen. You want nothing to do with those people. Especially people who are like popular jocks, football players, cheerleaders, frat girls, frat boys. You want nothing to do with those people. Trust me. Like, literally, trust me. I've had all the phases in high school. From band geek to uh, douchey jock. To frat boy, to literally being a, an outcast. I've literally been through it all. I've had a popular phase. I've had a phase where everyone hated me. And uh, yeah, all I'm gonna say is don't even try to be popular. Who cares? Because when in the future, nobody cares. No one, no. Just be yourself. Uh, that's just all. Be yourself. Who cares? Exactly. Snuff? Snuff? Is that your name? I can't read very far. I don't have my glasses on me. But yeah, just, just, I don't know. I'm getting deep here. I'm repotting plants. Right, there we go. Uh, I like to keep the moss. The moss looks very nice. But, yeah. Yeah, we can do this one. I keep thinking that's a shit buggy. These plants are really due for a repot. When you have plants like this, try to repot them like every year or so. How's my garden doing? It's doing okay so far. Fly traps are just starting to come out of dormancy. But the bad news is it's apparently going to snow tomorrow. Um, so I'm going to have to put down the frost, uh, mat, what is this word, I don't care. Uh, I've got to put down like a little frost protection mat on top. Uh, the plants can handle frost, but not new growth. New growth, um, I had a problem last year where new growth would wither because of, uh, it would constantly freeze in the middle of the spring and then they'll have to regrow and then it'll freeze again. It really set my plants back, especially at early season plants. Um, this is why plants like my Leah Wilkerson did so bad and produced really crappy pictures because, um, simply because uh, the new growth 
just kept dying. And it just didn't have a lot of time to make a lot of pictures. Such a shame. It sucked. That was such an expensive plant. I was addicted to planting once I was there. It's never worked. Exactly. Exactly. There's some weeds in here. Weeding's pretty dang important, not only for aesthetics, but functionality. I mean, you can let weeds grow in. I guess it just makes it look more natural if you really want to. But they just take up a lot of space. They, uh, pretty much steal water from the plants, and of course we don't want that. do my mirror traps which still have never produced mirrors hmm. let's see east coast weather is crazy this year 68 to 80 p.m. Nice. yeah it's, it's supposed to snow tomorrow it hey, weather's been very nice where I live like very nice uh, the past I'd say week like I mean like very nice but not anymore apparently it's gonna snow tomorrow sucks All right, this white house is gonna be in sphagnum moss Ooh. Yeah, some weeds have really taken over this pot. Yeah. I mean, they've, they've gotten some size, but no mirrors. Where do, where do I get most of my plants? eBay. Just eBay. Uh, eBay, Flytrap King. I really like Flytrap King. I, I really recommend them. Great plants. Uh, really cheap prices for what you're getting. Oh yeah, eBay is a great spot to get them. If you want to get Saracenia, I recommend people like Sprouse 2006. Uh, fantastic plants. Uh, he's also an honest guy. He means well, and his plant and his prices are a little high, but you usually do get large size plants. Um, but he has a huge variety of Saracenia. He mainly sells Saracenia. He rarely sells fly traps or sundews or nepenthes or whatever. He mainly just sells Saracenia. So he always has a lot on his on his page. So yeah. Oh, I remember this one. God, wow, this guy got big. He was tiny a couple years ago.
Roots fill in nicely. That's good. This one's getting a really nice pot upgrade. Oh yeah, he's gonna be happy in there. We should really consider doing things when we read it, such as there. Yeah, I, I used to use Reddit, but uh, I don't know. I stopped using Reddit ages ago. Plus, my account got hacked, and that was scary. So, yeah, I just I just stopped using Reddit. Uh, I used to like it, but I don't know. I just kind of got a little tired of it, and like I said, I got hacked, and I'm just like, nope. There's unknown Saracen. I still have no idea what that one is. Here is. King Henry, I believe. This is King, yeah, it's definitely King Henry. The tag is just like, yeah, it's, it's gone. But yeah, this is King Henry. One of the wonkiest plants I own. Like, it does well, but there are times where it just doesn't do anything. It will make like really wonky looking traps. Where do I get my B52? eBay. The seller doesn't sell fly traps anymore. That's where I got the majority of my fly trap cultivars, but uh, he just doesn't sell them anymore. So it's just it's such a shame because he's had really nice prices and cool plants and uh, yeah. There's actually some sundews in here. For a division, remove all the old growth. E, I, are e. Yeah, mine are just starting to come out. I know it's not a very good time to repot these guys because they're just coming out of dormancy, but I don't have a choice. So they're them coming back from dormancy might be a bit delayed. There we go. There we go. And then give the good old bowling ball fingertip. I had to keep the bowl slightly exposed. Why am I putting them in peat moss? No.
when I recommend it, if you know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing with them, um, I mean, to be fair, actually, uh, if you know what you're doing, then yes. If you don't know what you're doing, then it's a good start. But if you know what you're doing, then it's a great way of getting good fly traps for cheap. Uh, well, I want to call them good. They're just okay shape, but you can, but they're usually good clones, and if you can get them to uh, pretty much just come back to life, then yeah, they're great. Nasty fingers. Well, that's actually a great way to clean up. Cool. Might a few days ago when you're doing great, but it might be. Some content. Thank you. All right, let's see. Yeah. There we go, King Henry. And there's some sundews and moss in here. I want to say the moss. I could probably put the sundews somewhere else. I don't know where. To Put them. I don't know about this wood saving. I can set these two together in this corner here. this out and I'm gonna put uh, more water in here. I'll be right back. Oh wait, thank you for reminding me to check the weather on plants is good. Oh sweet. No problem at all. Yeah. Alright, I'm back. Yay. Okay, stay here. Yay, yeah, look, clean hands. Ooh. I mean, yeah, my nails are still chewing. And, uh, y'all, some of y'all really like. Ugh, I can't speak today. Uh, I get a lot of lovely comments about my disgusting ass nails. I know they're chewed. I get it. First bag, new, well, first new bag. A stack of moss. Everything reminds me of her. are fine no they're not like no like I know my nails are pretty nasty because uh, I've, I've had the problem with chewing my nails since I was like a wee lad 
Oh, I just ruined my hand. And um, it, it's an actual problem. Uh, like, I can't even open a soda can. I chew them that low. Here. Yeah, there you go. So, it is, an, it is a legitimate problem I have. What's next? Let's do whatever you are. Since I lost the tags on pretty much all my Saracenians, um, I'm not, and since they're all cut back, I honestly have no idea. I know this is a, a I think this is my flower rubricorpora, if anything. Let's see how this one's done. And it's fucked. Ooh. Oh, wait, no, that's just a weed. All right, cool. Is it just a weed? Or is that the actual plant roots? That'd be kind of sweet if that's the actual plant roots. No, there's a weed. No, it's the weed. Okay. Well. Used to upload cars. I mean, a simple load is. Oh. Yeah, I, I thought about growing cephalotus, but cephalotus are just. I heard they're very, very finicky. So, not my cup of tea there um i like easier plants i mean i could barely handle basic nepenthes so i mean who knows i do plan on upgrading my setup though and not using the sunroom i don't really like the sunroom like yeah it's great for storing my plants and they get lots and lots of light but man does it get hot in here and really cold in the winter because we still don't have any kind of ac in the sunroom so i'm hoping I can't do it in my bedroom because I have too much stuff in my room. And because uh, my, even though my room's a decent size, there's a lot of stuff in there. And it literally has all my belongings, except for the plants. So, uh, I do have plans for my setup. Yeah, they do any drying periods. I don't know a whole lot about cephalotus because I'm not that interested in them. I'm a flytrap saracenia. I'm a temperate carnivorous plant guy. I prefer outdoor plants. I don't, uh, even though I do have quite a few indoor carnivorous plants like my sun nepenthes, like tropical sundews, well, subtropical sundews. Yes, Peter Diamato himself corrected me on that. Not on my video on Facebook, but, uh, uh, this moss is actually kind of ugly. I don't want to keep it. I am making a mess. Great, right, gotta clean this up out of the stream. How many attracts are every time the train is? I don't have it. Yeah, I, I just like growing them outside. Um, I, I just prefer out, they, outdoor plants just do a lot better for me than the indoor stuff. Um, oh, they just do a lot better. Uh, the indoor stuff's just a lot more finicky, and sometimes I have issues with indoor plants. Even simple plants like Capensa sundews, I have a hard time with sometimes. Uh, why? I don't know how, but sometimes that just happens. This is good. This, I think this is my flower regalii. Look how big she's gotten. All right, what's next? Oh, this one's gonna be a bitch. This is my teeny tiny cream out of shark.
I completely forgot about this one. This one's gonna suck. It's the tiniest little bitty plant. You can't even see it. You just see moss, but he's right there. He's a tiny little plant. And he has not gotten big and for like he's always remained small and he's getting smaller and smaller. So I wonder if uh, throwing him in sphagnum moss instead of sphagnum peat would improve him. The moss is very nice though. I could probably save that for another pot. Or I could probably just throw that in the bog garden. Ooh, this plant is tiny. I gotta be real careful. I'm actually gonna like wash them off. I just lost it. Oh no, never mind, I got it. Look at that. Itty bitty plant. Itty bitty. Alright. He doesn't really need a big pot to throw. God, it's such a big pot for him. You know what? Why not? Oh my god. Okay, I might need to pack this a bit more. That way, this can actually hold the plant a bit better. God, you can't even see it. Oh yeah, of course you can tell the plant's healthy by its roots. Um, that's how you can tell an orchid is healthy. Um, whenever you, uh, whenever you go to a shop and you see orchids, even ones with flowers on them, check their roots because there's a chance that the plant's not healthy because their roots are bad. So you can tell a plant is healthy by the way the roots look. Um, now the roots in these plants they look fine. This one right here is going to be a pain in the butt. It's my Triton. Because he is absolutely covered in sundews. A lot of uh, filiformis. Silk so, is in from Silk so, perlite. Yeah, that is a downside of perlite. Is that it does tend to float on top. That is, that is true. I will give you that. I, I just choose perlite. It's just a lot lighter. Um, especially for things like bog gardens, because if you use sand in bog gardens, a two cubic foot bag of perlite can weigh about 15 pounds, while a two cubic foot bag of sand can weigh about 200 pounds. So, it's, when it comes to bog gardens and all that, um, perlite's definitely a better option. But for pots like this, I'm pretty sure silica sand or vermiculite might be a little bit better. But I just choose perlite because it's just easier to get. Well, it wasn't really easier to get because I actually had to order my product from Amazon. Um, which really sucked. Because that crap's really expensive nowadays. A uh, three cubic foot bag of, well not a four cubic foot bag, sorry. A four cubic foot bag of perlite Back, I'd say about a year or two ago, costed about thirty-five-ish dollars. Now it's about fifty-five dollars, and I'm like, nope. So I bought a two cubic foot bag for about thirty dollars on Amazon, and I just discovered t literally today, about I'd say two hours ago, um, getting more sphagnum moss uh, that Lowe's actually sells perlite that is safe for cars plants because it's not a miracle row this time so thanks Lowe's all right 
Okay, so here's how you can tell uh, healthy flytrap roots, in case you're wondering. Um, Wait, hold on. Oh, cause it get outside, I want to where I live. It gets cold, it rarely gets down to single digits. I'm talking about Fahrenheit, by the way. So, um, I live in the south of the United States. But, uh, in Fahrenheit, it gets, like, it rarely gets to single digits. But, uh, it's been warmer than usual lately. We don't get a lot of snow, so, yeah. It, it gets cold, but it doesn't get, like, like, absolutely... How can I say it? It doesn't get blistering. Stack of moss. I'm going to need to get more. I just spilled a bunch of pots. Oh, I'm, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Healthy roots of fly traps have like a white to yellow tip on the roots. Let's see if you can see that correctly. Do you like feeding your plants sometimes? I don't feed them. Uh, they catch their own food. Um, but if I, like, let's say if I kill a bug indoors, I will just drop it in my nepenthes or. Uh, or put on a sundew or something like that. Do I enjoy it? I mean, I don't know. At least I gave the bug more purpose than just like trash. So, yeah. Um, one thing I noticed about carnivorous plants is the uh, the longer you grow them, the less you care that they're carnivorous. You just like the actual plants, which I think is pretty funny. So there's that one. Oh yeah, this is my, yeah, this is my Triton. So yeah, there's that one. The pot. And what am I gonna do with these sundews? Well, I'm gonna put them in their own pots now. So I'm just gonna. There we go. That's gonna be in a perlite mix. Uh, I'm actually going to put these in a small pot, like this. There you go. There you go. Easy. Um, I'm getting towards the end. Alright. Oh. Oh, that's foul. I know this is the Dana's Delight plant that I've had for years and years and years and years and years and okay maybe not that I've had it for years and it still has never gotten big for me so great just wonderful oh shit well that just happened Says the train. Yeah. Yeah, train comes comes by once in a while. Oh, 
Let's speak out the devil. Uh -uh. My neighbor hates me. Sundew. I, I just yanked out a sundew. Alright. He's just a short king. So am I. I'm short. This goes in a shit bucket. It smells bad. The soil is pretty old and kind of rotten. Try our pee. I should have peed before I live streamed. Alright. Or. Actually, I'm gonna use this moss. Very nice moss, actually. And I'm actually, well, there's a weed, and there's a bunch of roots just sticking out like that. Okay. Here, I got you. I usually get them from eBay, uh, Flytrap King. I did get, I got some of these from California Carnivores. Uh, I don't 100% recommend California Carnivores because they are really getting expensive. I feel like I feel like the price is a bit too high for what you get. Um, so they were good, but I, there were some things that they did that really upset me, especially the time whenever. Uh, they were out, they ran out of stock for a plant. Um, and then instead of sending me, or at least letting me know, hey, we're out of stock, we turns out we are out of stock on this plant, they just sent me random plants I didn't order. So I spent my own money on plants I didn't even want. And they, they've done this before, it's really stupid. At first, I didn't mind it, but until I realized. But I just uh, can't really. I was kind of like a California carnivore's dick sucker at the time, so I I didn't really care. But now that I'm older and I've actually done a business with a lot of good smaller uh, businesses like Flytrap King, who I bring up a lot because I genuinely really like Flytrap King. If you, if, you haven't, if you haven't seen them, I'd recommend checking them out. Uh, great plants, great prices. But uh, once I finally learned about fly trucking, I realized that California carnivores just really isn't that great. It's not bad, it's just not great. So I usually get them from eBay or fly trucking. This moss is actually looking really good. I'm like really packing them all together in this pot. Looking really nice, actually. I'm really happy with it. But yeah, that does suck. I've been getting a lot of plants from Cooks. And 
cheap. I've never tried Cooks, so I think I'll probably try this one day. And like I said before, Peter Diamato was a bit on the rude side um, to me. So I, I kind of just don't, I've not done business with California Carnivores since I say about, yeah, well over two years now. Uh, yeah, I'd say almost three. I haven't really done any business with them. So it is what it is. This is actually this was the last plan I bought from Cal. Shut up, dog. This is the last car I bought from Cowboy Car Wars. Speaking of the devil, that's my red piranhas. They they're still tiny. They've not gone any bigger, which is really annoying. Hard plastic cups and styrofoam, right? Not the styrofoam, but he does use plastic cups whenever they're um, on the Saracenias whenever they're dormant. Um, and you can buy them bare root or potted. He does give options. So, like you can buy like a, if you want to buy like a small four inch potted plant, you can do that. Or you can buy a large bare root. But, uh. They're usually a bit more expensive when they're large and bare root. Let me just set this on top. Like so. It actually looks kind of cool. It's kind of like mount. It looks like a little wavy. It looks natural. Uh, that's kind of a goal here. I have one, two, three, four, five pots, I believe. Yeah, I have five left. Alright. I can try cook Scarner's plants one day and I might make a review video on them. Pitch black outside. Oh. Shit bucket's getting full. This is a plant my professor gave me. So took a while for it to recover, but it's good now. Oh, that's cute. Oh, fly traps do that. They produce like little younglings. Really cute when they do that. Just gotta be careful not to kill the poor guy. I need to buy more pots. Oh, actually, that's actually most of them. That might actually be enough pots. Hopefully, it's enough pots. So the fly trap. Actually, I need to drill a hole and let the roots do their magic.
Oh, I thought I killed. I thought I smothered the poor guy. I thought I killed the youngling. Ooh, almost Anakin Skywalker that bitch. Yes, I went there. Ooh, I forgot to text my girlfriend. She's probably very mad. But I'm reparting plans. Telling her I'm busy. But sometimes she don't take that as an excuse. Oh. No. Oh. She's probably worried about me. But I don't care. Actually, I do. I don't know if she watches my channel. If she does, hi, I love you. I don't think she watches my channel. Cause she don't like plants like I do. Well, she don't eat them, but she's just not interested. Okay, there we go. This is my trick to fall, eh? Cool plant. It's kind of surreal, though. Yeah, they did. That was a that was a strange. It is strange. All right. That tag is. Oh yeah, that's gone. Shit bucket, you go. Oh, it's really getting full. All right. Ooh. It looks rough. Aren't they making another Star Wars movie? I don't know, I heard. I like Star Wars, but I really hate the new stuff. I'm gonna get more water for this, I'll be right back. Mother. I'm back with beads. What the? I butchered that. I need to empty out that shit buggy, but I, I don't care. I'm gonna get at the end. All right, I think I killed my first new sniper. It's okay. I killed my first. You think I was successful with my first plant? No, I wasn't. No. Not successful at all. My first plant died within a month. Uh, and my second plant died within a week. So, once your first one dies, that's fine. It sucks, but it's okay. It happens. It happened to me plenty of times. And don't give up. Don't bring yourself down for it. Like I said, it happens. And you just move on from it. I'm not saying don't, I'm not saying get rid of the hobby, just keep going. Um, Cause trust me dude, the more you try, the longer you keep going, the more successful you are. Trust me, it is, uh, it is so worth it. I remember everyone kept discouraging me, especially people like my mom and my dad and my nana. They kept uh, telling me that I just needed to just quit cause I kept killing them. And even though they are technically right, I did keep killing them. Uh, I didn't quit. I didn't give up. I kept buying them with my nickels and dimes in my pocket. And I don't regret it one bit because look where I'm at now. I mean, they're 
pro- yeah, they are probably dormant, but if they were like actively growing at the time, then they probably are dead because the po- or at least the growth is probably dead. So, um, because that's even though the plants can handle the cold during their dormancy, when they're fully like actively growing, the new growth, especially the new growth, it's very fragile and it doesn't. Uh, handle the cold very well. So the new growth is probably dead. But I'm pretty sure the actual plants themselves are fine. They should be fine. Another bag of sphagnum. Actually, I had a video showing them frozen in solid blocks of ice in the snow. So they they can handle the cold. But if they are if they're they weren't actively growing, most likely you just lost the new growth. But it'll grow back. Bristle tooth, I believe. Yeah, this is my bristle tooth. This plant has come and gone many times. Um, it's been very hit or miss. I'm just, I don't think I'm even going to save the moss. I'm just going to set the plants. Oops. Uh, a little bit. Uh, yeah, no, I don't even care about the moss at this point. It's nice, but oh god, got the iPad dirty. Where'd the other one go? Found it. Plants are tiny. All right. Actually, a good wrapping job. <laughs> I'm happy about that. And then just put that in there. Another job, wrapping job now would have been better. I'll just stuff it a little bit. Did you buy that cringe? <laughs> what made me grow Connor's plants? Well, as I was a little kid, I, I don't know why, I just 
in my mind, I'm like, are these portraits real? And do they eat bugs? Found that they were real. I'm like, okay, cool. And I didn't think much of it until I actually saw one at Lowe's. Um, Cause I, I thought, okay, that's cool, but they're su I bet they're super expensive. And I didn't even bother until I found them at Lowe's. I'm like, okay, cool. I want one. My nana got it for me, and uh, I killed it within a month. So I tried again. Killed the second one within a week. I tried again, killed that one, tried again, and again, and again. I just got my car's plants, and I welcome to me now. It turned into an addiction. So, yay. Why did the gardener owner get arrested? Oh, Lordy. Oh, here's this fly trap. Here's the one, here's a fly trap from the uh, Don't Buy Venus Fly Trap in the Middle of Winter video. This plant actually got quite big. Uh, it's actually a pretty nice clone. Because he was disturbing the bees. There is no God. So this guy only grew in sphagnum moss, and this is actually the reason why. I was wanting to put everything in sphagnum moss because this guy did very, very well in just sphagnum. So, like, I mean, very well. So, that smells, that is actually repulsive. That's, that's the reason why I don't like using sphagnum moss on a lot of plants because, whew, it stinks and it does rot up pretty often. So, uh, it, it, doesn't last long. All these fly traps I'm probably gonna have to repot again next year. This stuff does not last long, especially on outdoor plants. In the sun. Ugh. There you go. Just gotta move that plant up. Oh, that's actually a little Oh, there's actually growth coming out of that. Okay, cool. What starts with W and ends with T? What? Oh, wait, I'm an idiot. Yeah, that's it. Yep, that's the answer. Shit buckets like overflowing. I don't know how my phone battery is right now. It's probably not that. It's probably not too good. Do you have being as good if you want fly traps? I do plan on making a care video for fly traps, but uh, I don't know how good it'd be. Um, I was gonna do like a all year thing, but I kind of forgot the dormancy part. I've been very busy. Um, I mean, if you want a beginner's guide, full sun, six plus hours of sunlight every day, um, comes with water, uh, try to avoid tap water if, if all possible, uh, use rainwater, distilled water, or reverse osmosis water. There's, uh, the soil is, um, needs to be low in nutrition, usually uh, sphagnum peat moss or, and perlite, or you just use uh, sphagnum moss like what I'm using right now. You can also use things like silica sand, vermiculite, washed river sand. There are plenty of soil mixes, but the main thing is no nutrition at all, no fertilizers. 
Uh, the only fertilizer that you can use if you really wanted to uh, is Max C, which is a foliar spray. Keep the soil damp. Um, do they need food? Technically, they don't. Uh, it's not 100% necessary. That's at least what people say, but I don't fully believe that uh, because these guys evolved for a reason. So I do believe that they need uh, to catch their food. So yeah, grow these guys outside, full sun. Don't let the soil dry out. Um, that's about it. They do have pests. Make sure you use the proper insecticides. And repotting, the roots like to go pretty deep. So it's best to put them in a deeper pot. This is not a very deep pot, but this is a smaller plant, so we're good. That's pretty much it for like the bare bones, but that's that's all I got right now. Here is my Citizena. Look how big she got. Um, Its days are numbered. That's fine. I mean, that's how you learn. Oh, yeah. The thing about Citizena, oh my god, um, is that this guy, uh, Citizena is usually like drowned in water, like a lot of water. So, it's, I bet sphagnum moss is like rotten to the core. I used, a spag I used a sphagnum perlite mix on that. I don't know why I did that. I don't think it needed that at all. Ooh. The moss on top looks nice though, so I'm gonna keep that. But yeah, don't give up. Even if it's days or numbered, don't give up yet. I think I think I can get rid of all of it, but not most of it. The shit bucket stays in number. It's pretty. Huh. I love Citizena. It's a very underrated species. They're a little bit harder to find. They can be expensive, but I got this guy cheap. Weirdly, from California Carnivores. Um, actually unboxed it on camera. I need to fill this with water again, I'll be back. BRB.
There we go. Let's see, do I have any new... What are your favorite places to work on a French bone? Alright, so with California carnivores, well, I stopped the California carnivores like two and a half years ago. Um, uh, I just didn't like their service anymore. They were just kind of not good. And I remember Peter Diamato was kind of a dick to me on Facebook. So I don't really do business with them anymore. Um, but yeah. Um, But uh, I choose things like Black Truck King, eBay, uh, mainly eBay. That's where I got most of my plants. Uh, eBay is just really nice. It's great. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Black Truck King, eBay. I'm thinking about going for Jerry Addington someday. His plants are beautiful. Very expensive though. Um, so I might get a I'm not going to get much from him, but I might get something. So, yeah. By the way, thank you, Gary is King, for uh, for that guide. Like that, that's cool. That, that, that was cool. You didn't have to type all that, but you did. That's cool. It's Gary is King. Gary, come home. Gary, come home. Dude, that, that episode was sad. I don't care what people say, dude. That, that episode, like, those were real man tears. Gary, come home. Gary, come home. I still know that song. That's a good song. Like, SpongeBob music, bangers. Yeah, I know. Thank autism for that. Because, yes, I got the tism. Yeah, boy, does it really shoot me in the leg sometimes. I have social problems, but the good news is at least I ain't getting drafted for World War III. So, yeah, eat my nuts. That was, that was dark. I should not have brought that up. I'm sorry. A lot of shit's happening in this world. What shall I refer to? Dude, Spongebob. What do you mean, what show am I referring to? You don't know Spongebob? Oh, garbage didn't take fly traps in here. Which one is it? I don't remember. But you know what? They're getting a new pot. It's technically a downgrade, but you know, I feel like this would look a lot nicer than this abomination. Ooh, that shit my shit look is really in full. That sounds really nasty. Alright, I'm actually gonna empty out the shit bucket. Not yet. I'm just gonna empty this outside. Oh. Okay. So, yeah. Alright. We're just gonna be 
what you see. This is why you don't let weeds grow in your pots. I'm not going to save the moss or anything like that. I'm just going to plants, and that's it. That song is in my head now. Dang, dude, there's a lot of fly traps in here. Oh, Lordy. The garbage begins. I'm actually going to give this moss a second chance at life by throwing it out the window. Hopefully it'll stick somewhere. <laughs> I am such a good person. Slung in here. There we go. Did you see that I was blind? I'll do anything to change your mind. Wow, 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 wow. Gary, I'm sorry I neglected you. Cause I never expected you to run away and leave me feeling this empty. Oh, SpongeBob. Alright, let's see what we got here. Red Dragon's on clearance at Lowe's for all 50 piece, sweet. Touch. I love moss. There are so many tiny plants.
How are y'all doing? It's a good day. Just worked eight hours. Coming home late at night. Live streaming me putting plants in the pot with the most repulsive lighting as possible. While I'm poorly singing Gary Come Home from Spongebob. Good day. Good day. Mm -hmm. Wholesome gardener, huh? I appreciate that. I really do. Yeah, I know I'm not the smartest bits on the pack. I can be stupid. And I'm okay with that. Because I'm... I'm not used to, I don't know. My goal for this is just to kind of make it look as natural as possible. It looks a little weird right now, but it's not finished yet. I'm just trying to add in my small touches. Make sure it's right, but since the lighting in here is so bad, I can't fully see everything so I could probably fix it on another day maybe on a day off if I ever have that plants though seems to be that way uh, I'm done all right I just finished would you would you look at that cool all right uh, yeah. so now that everything's done and complete I'm gonna end the stream clean this shit up and put these guys outside where they belong. Actually, there's one more plant.
feel like it's finally earned its spot outside. This was that garbage fly trap that I was gonna make a video on, but I decided not to because the plant, the video just didn't turn out too well. Thank you, stream. No, no problem, dude. I know I don't get to do it often, but I try to do it as, as often as I can. This guy's actually going to be in a small pot. It is not worth putting him in such a large pot. I'm not going to put him in sphagnum moss. I don't respect the plant that much. That sounds really mean. I'll just do it quickly and see if the plant will earn its spots. Actually, I'll put some sphagnum moss on top. To give it like a nice, somewhat natural look. Because perlite does not look natural at all. Even though it's technically natural, but not, not like this. There we go. Well, that's it for today. I'm gonna wash my hands, then I'm gonna in the stream, dump this shit out, and I will, yeah. So, once I come back, I'll end the stream. So, yeah, bye. I'm an idiot. I'm not going to be um, bringing these plants outside. It's going to snow tomorrow, so I'll just keep them in here. In fact, I'm actually going to take some plants outside put them back in here. So, yeah, sweet. So, thank you all so much for watching. Y'all have yourselves a wonderful day. Thank you so much.